Tony Lyles here from Zephyr Co. We're just talking about you were here in, back in the in the mid '90s. Yep. Then you moved away, went to Vail, and now you're back in Lake Tahoe for what the last year or something, huh? Yeah, for for the last year or so, working for Lake Tahoe Cruises and Zephyr Cove Resort. The weird, snowmobile operation. Yeah, yeah, the weirdest thing was that um, you your accent changed when you came back from Vail. You came back with an English accent. No, well, the, the things kind of happen like that. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, really it's, interesting. Very interesting. It's really weird how they talk in Vail, isn't it? It, it is, and it's <laughs> the you know the haves and the have nots, and you know I'm the have not, but I do have the accent. Yeah, you do. Yeah. He yeah. kept the accent from the kept that veil accent. It's uh, yeah. it's good to have you back, Tony. Uh, you guys, I know, are fired up. Finally got the snow and got that that snowmobile operation, which is huge for you guys. Absolutely, it's game on. I mean, the snow's here. Snowmobile operation opened yesterday. Oh, just yesterday um, was day one. Yep, day one yesterday on a kind of soft, limited opening. Today it's full on. We've got a ten. 12 and 2 o'clock tour today and on Sunday. What, what took so long? Just just kind of grooming the, the trails out? It's just the base. We just It's just like the, the ski resorts. We don't have snow making though. So we need to have that base and it's got to consolidate. We've got to groom it out. And, it. and it's there. It's there from the trailhead right up to 9,000 feet. Isn't I mean, that it's, awesome? It's That's just so on. good. So good to see that back. You know, we got a little footage here from uh, years past. And it's just, you know, I was just telling you, I took my dad and uh, my Hindu Indian stepmom, just for the record, that uh, and she and she was just like that was very fun. It is. Yeah, I'm not making that up. I have a Hindu Indian stepmom, and people don't realize that about my family how diverse we are. But they loved it. She loved it. You know, I mean, they got out there, and I think she rode on the back, held around Dad's waist, and you yeah. know, like I said, she was like, "This was very fun. I had a very good time." Yeah, that's them with the helmet on. There you go. Yeah, you don't know what to say about that. I'm not making no, that you, up. I mean, I, you, I, I'm yeah, not no. making that up. I have a half Hindu family. I'm not. You can't make that stuff up. It's true. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, how big you are, how old you are. I mean, you can get out on a snowmobile. It's not that difficult. We get a lot of um, people saying, "Well, I don't want to ride my own machine. I want to go behind." Mm -hmm. And then halfway through the tour, they're wishing that they had their own machine. It's yeah. not difficult. No, and and I was telling you that too during the break. My dad was. You know, my dad's like 75 years old. He was like, I don't know, I'm a little, you know, right. I'm like, Dad, it's going to be fine. It's easy. You just, you know, and they loved it. They loved it. And you got up to the bench and they got the great photos. It's a, it's a cool experience for people, I think, visiting town, especially considering what a late start we had to the season. That You guys are in good shape now. No, I mean, the conditions up there are fantastic. Um, you know, top to bottom coverage. And on a day like today, I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky. It's going to be fantastic views mm. from the top there. Um, great photo opportunities, and don't forget that you know the hot chocolate stop at the top, as well. Um, if you're not skiing and you're in town today, you know looking for something to do, snowmobiling. Yeah. Get out there and see the lake from 9,000 feet. Yeah. And then, and I know you're planning to get the ski shuttle back running again. That's a biggie. That's next week, next Tuesday and Thursday. We're going to have the Tahoe Queen ski shuttle. That's back. That's going to be taking skiers and riders from South Lake Tahoe up to North Star. Uh huh. Uh huh. So you get a cruise. Um, in the daytime with a narration. So you, you're combining it. A, a narration? A narration, yeah. And what's that? You know, oh, a narration. I got it. Okay. Go. Oh, yeah. Lost in translation no, yet I, again. I narration. Know. I know. A there narration. A narration. And yeah. it's very good. So you're going to get, you, you know, you come into town, what are you going to do? You want to ski. That's, and drink. That's why you're here. But you want to take a cruise. Okay. And but can you get a beer on the cruise? Absolutely. Yeah, full bar. Covered. So, you know, roll in the um, a, a Tahoe cruise, skiing at North Star. And we'll throw in a party on the way back as well. Damn. So it's, uh -huh. a, it's a big day. Yeah. It's a big day. And everything else full full board. Just do, if somebody just wanted to go out just on the paddle wheeler. How about the paddle wheeler uh, snowmobile tour? I know you guys did a surf and turf. I used to call it. <laughs> you know we do do that. If you take the 10 a.m. snowmobile tour, you'll be back in time to get on the Dixie for the 1 p.m. Emerald Bay cruise, and you can get on the boat just for 15 bucks. Uh -huh. So um, that's kind of a ride and a cruise package. I love it. We'll do um, it. We'll do can, it. Can you do an can you do an American accent? Like you, if you try and do an English accent. Yes. Oh, blimey! What am I going to say? Um, we just say um, we'll be back uh, tomorrow morning with more of Todd today. Just try that one. We'll be back tomorrow for more Tahoe today. At seven o'clock with more of Lake Tahoe Television. Outside TV's up next. Enjoy your day. Don't waste it, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Good day. Good day. I did. I did. I did the Australian it's, it's, at the end. That's <laughs>